Hey guys, Cam here. Back to the workshop again. Today we're still talking about uh, paper jams. That uh, sometimes you beat a printer so hard, this little piece come out, and uh, you know where it's come from, but you don't know how to put it back. Uh, this little piece is the lever for the PE sensor. It drop down in between the PE sensor, so the PE sensor will know there's uh, no paper. When you have a paper f fed into the printer, it will push this lever, so the P sensor will know there's a lot of paper. It goes into this uh, assembly with a screw, and uh, this uh, lever goes into this assembly. And uh, there's something to say you can do without this this lever. I'm really I'm really surprised to hear that. Uh, it's un unconfirmed. Also, there are somebody say you can install with a tweezer, and uh, uh, I cannot see how you physically you can do that. Uh, first thing you do is you take the scanner off. I'm gonna post a link above show you how to do that, so I don't have to just repeat myself. Now you need to take the cover off. I'm gonna put the, the link above again, and that's how you take the cover off. Uh, however, the the direction is for 3640. Uh, it's almost the same as uh, uh, the 7720 and 7710 uh, or 716. Uh, those just a little bit wider. Now we can see a clearer view of the back. And uh, we're going to remove those springs. You can just use a paper clip and uh, make yourself a jig. And uh, you can dig the spring out. The bottom spring just fit in that uh, little piece of uh, white plastic. There's a notch or anything. So it's pretty easy for you to lo lose one. And easy to uninstall and reinstall one too. Uh, anyway, you're going to lose one eventually. So let me show you where to get them. Yeah, go to bchtechnologies.com. Uh, let me think what we need for springs. So go to Premier Parts, Epson and uh, springs and uh, it will come with a set of five so this springs for front page guard guard and if you need a front page guard goes to printer parts paper feed and uh, there's a direction which e which each one called so we're looking for a paper guide upper assembly so on the right you can see there's a filter so paper guide upper assembly and you can get this part. Uh, what if your uh, little lever is broken? So you go to printer parts, Epson. So you go to uh, paper feed. And uh, you go to paper eject. And uh, here's a uh, eject sensor and the lever. Again, for Sam Sam 20, Sam Sam 10, and Sam Sam 60, it's the same uh, lever and the same sensor. You can just use those. On the top, there are three holes. There's a screw go through the middle hole, which secures the uh, the lever. The other two holes is for the lever to uh, get a hold on the the, the metal bar. Uh, the paper guard is secured by those tabs. Uh, the paper guard is secured by those tabs. Each segment has two tabs against each other. So you can just use a screwdriver, just push them, push them apart, and uh, the guard will fall out. Now it's time to remove that screw on the top. Use a Phillips uh, screw size 1. Now you can slide the whole thing out. Oh, by the way, if you need to replace those uh, black rollers, uh, they just pop out and pop in. So this is another uh, way that you can. Uh, this is the way to replace those two. Okay, uh, to put it in, uh, you hold it like a pistol. Uh, so the, uh, the shape looks like a pistol. Hold it like this, and uh, then insert it. See, there are two nipples on each side. That's good to the hole on the top uh, top of that metal plate. In the middle is the hole for the screw. Those long levers is kind of annoying. They should fall back when you insert it. 
And uh, uh, actually, when you put it in, you don't really need to pay attention to it. It will automatically just fall back. You can just uh, uh, put a page guard just flat and don't pay attention to anything else other than get the screw into the middle hole. Do not totally tighten the screw. Uh, you need to put a front, uh, the, the pitch guard in and uh, then adjust the position of nipples. Now we push up each segment of the pitch guard. You should here click. Uh, just uh, don't push too hard so, uh, so you uh, you'll break the tabs. Adjust the position a little bit, make sure the nipples go through the hole, and then you can just tighten that screw. Make sure every segment is in and everything lays flat. Then tap the back and uh, make sure they all lift and uh, come down evenly. And make sure those two things are free. And uh, remember that long lever? Uh, this one rests on the notch of that long lever. Here's that little guy that caused all the troubles. And then just use that uh, little hook you made and uh, just fishing through the bottom and then just leave it up and attach to the top. I hope you enjoyed this video. According to my stats, there are like a few of you who haven't subscribed yet. You might want to get that taken off. Okay. Uh, please visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally, Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.